Hi, I'm AJ, and I'm getting better? Explain, I do have more energy, but my cough is getting, like, worse. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, first story of the day, gonna get through this as best as I can, because, well, I need to get better. On to Yemen, where in another death has occurred in a U.S. embassy. Now, fortunately, this time it is not a U.S. ambassador or really even an American citizen. This is actually a Yemeni security person, but it has been done. It was a drive-by shooting, and Al-Qaeda has taken the blame for this. So this is kind of raising fears that Al-Qaeda is resurging in Yemen. For the past year, we've been kind of hitting them really, really hard. This might mean they're coming back, or this could just be the death throes. Who knows? Hopefully the latter. And I'm going to do one more bit of depressing world news, because, well, stuff you need to know. But I don't want to talk about depressing stuff anymore after that, so we'll just do awesome after, after this. Which is actually about meth. Now, what's going on right now is the United States is noticing a, a bit of a trend, if you will. Recently, we've been cracking down a lot on methamphetamines and, and major drugs and all like that, you know, putting a hold on pseudoephedrine and all that. And you have to put in your driver's license just to, to get a, a decongestant, kind of something I kind of need right now. And so what we're seeing is a jump in not only the quantity, but the quality and concentration of meth coming in from Mexico. What's going on right now is literally just entire factories dedicated to making this drug and shipping it to the U.S. Getting really scary. So it kind of backs up my whole theory. We should take our, our troops home and put them on the border. This kind of crap needs to stop. I don't know if you've ever seen anybody on meth. It is highly addictive. It is highly destructive to the personality and the people around them. And it is highly destructive to their health. We don't need this kind of crap in our in our nation. And so to get me off to the depressing and, and the ranting, I'm going to do what I usually do and shoot off into space. Where scientists have discovered that a plant they, did, they found a, a while ago, actually back in 2004, actually probably at least a third to a quarter made entirely of diamonds. Whoa, or, or maybe even just like one huge diamond, they're not entirely sure. 55 Cancri E, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. It's about twice the size of Earth, you know, radius-wise, eight times as massive. And just, as far as I could tell, covered in diamonds and graphite. Holy crap. This to me just shows exactly what kind of wonders we can find out in space. Who knew there'd be a planet of just gemstones everywhere? Or, or you know, planets that could possibly hold life or any of all this. We need to continue space exploration. Cutting back on that is not going to help Earth at all. And back down to Earth. Texas, in fact, because, you know, I always go home. Where in... A little bit of news has come out that kind of makes me a little nervous. Just, I, I don't like big government, and, and this is really showing it again. So what it is, is a man found a dove in his yard. Literally, it ran into the side of his house, broke his neck, fell down. He's like, hey, I've heard you can eat these. By the way, I've had dove before with jalapeno. Extremely good, at least in my opinion. Anyway, I digress. So he decided to cook it up and post the whole thing on the internet, on his blog. Well, it turns out the government doesn't like that because he, even though it was dove season, he didn't have a license or kill it with a proper firearm. For me, this is just like, wait, 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 wait. Something died on his own property, probably lived on his property, and he ate it as part of his own property. What does Texas law have to say about this? It's not drugs or anything. It's nothing harmful. You know, maybe a bit of bruised meat, which doesn't taste too good, but... Why would they have any say in this? It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Actually, a, a comment on uh, down below, simply because why would the government have be able to say anything about this? Anyway, good news, good news, good news. I need good news. Marines, Marines, those could be good. And in fact, these ones are amazing. So over in Pensacola, Florida, there is a race going on, a triathlon actually, in which a boy with a prosthetic leg was participating. Little Ben Baltz had already actually been through a couple triathlons and loved going through it, except that, you know, he didn't really like the running part, not because, you know, he had a prosthetic leg, but because that prosthetic leg tended to be a bit wobbly. Well, this time, the leg actually uh, lost some screws and fell apart. Poor kid collapsed. What happened next, though, is what is the story. It is amazing. Marine, who was helping out with it, the whole thing, was volunteering. Looked down, asked if he needed help. Ben said, yeah. And then the Marine picked him up and ran with him the rest of the way of the triathlon. Not only that, other Marines saw him 
and surrounded him, chanting as they went. This entire thing elicited cheers from the entire crowd. This is absolutely amazing. This is the kind of soldiers that we have. These are the kind of people that represented us, uh, represent us overseas. And this is the kind of courage and strength that we have in our people, and we need in our people. So all in all, good on you all. All right, back to politics for a little bit. Just wanted to mention that tonight is the vice presidential debate. It's the only one that's going to happen, uh, at least for this election. Biden versus Ryan. So this is going to be uh, crazy. I, I, had, I have no idea how Biden's even going to pull this off without doing some kind of gaffe that Ryan can run off with. But anyway, I'm going to link you down to a little bit of a uh, synopsis on both parties on this. It's actually going on right now as I'm recording, so I'm going to try and finish this up as fast as I can. Uh, check it out. I'd say best place to look would be youtube.com uh, slash politics. They're the ones that really cover it pretty well. And our last story today, more of just a, a plug for a TV show I think is going to be awesome. It's actually already aired, but it's going to um, re-air its pilot tomorrow night, which I will catch and hopefully review for you guys. It's Arrow from the CW. Now, it was, you may not exactly figure out what it is right off soon because they did change the name. This is based off of the Green Arrow comic books. If you don't know anything about Green Arrow, he's awesome. You know, think combination Batman, Robin Hood, and, well, Hawkeye from the Avengers. DC, though, so it's different. Any, anyway, this is actually, from what they're saying, taking the direction of the Dark Knight and Batman and tr Christopher Nolan's view on superheroes. So no real superpowers, just human drive. So actually, I'm really looking forward to it, no matter how much you know TV tends to change things up. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me here on Extraordinary Times. Like over here, favorite over there, subscribe up there because you know I'm sick and I need the love. Share us around with your friends because you know that's how we get bigger and that's how Extraordinary Times will keep going. And always be aware.